Sports Sunday, presented by Dick's Gary Tangway for Felger. Let's do conference call. Got to make it quick because the first guy's a lawyer and we're on billable time. Michael Coyne, our legal analyst. Let's get to the Clemens case, Michael. We all know why it was declared a mistrial because they brought in Andy Pettit's wife's testimony. But did the judge really have to call this thing? Could he have let that slide? He could have let it slide if he had chosen to. But the problem is, is this was the second mistake that the prosecution made very early in the trial where the judge had ruled for them not to go to uh, try and introduce in an inadmissible evidence. So it's sort of like a heavyweight prize fight is that they were warned once when they went below the belt. And now this was the second attempt at hitting below the belt. The judge just felt that it was going to prejudice Clemens's rights to a fair trial, trying to introduce inadmissible evidence. So it was a... He, he didn't have to declare the mistrial, but I think in the comfort of the Constitution, he felt safe that he could declare the mistrial. Now, will double jeopardy prevent another trial for Roger Clemens, and will he walk? Um, I don't think it will. Don't, I don't think we should equate the judge's anger at having lost a week, at least a week's worth of work and paneling that jury and all the expense of it and everything else, having lost the week with the likelihood that the standard of bad faith has been met. Uh, if the judge finds that the prosecution did what it did in bad faith, then in fact, uh, under the Fifth Amendment, double jeopardy would bar the reprosecution of Roger. Okay, do you think that he will walk eventually anyways, or do you like the prosecution's case? No, I like the prosecution's case. I think if the science is strong, Roger would likely be convicted. Um, and that's why I think it was not done intentionally. I think it was done in either sloth or arrogance, but I don't think it was intentional. I think uh, they know that they've got a pretty solid case on at least one of the counts that they should be able to convict Roger. I think Andy Pettit's testimony, and that's where uh, the government probably pushed a little too far by trying to introduce his wife's testimony uh, in its case in chief. I think Andy Pettit's testimony, as well as the science, will be uh, very, very powerful and very telling as to whether Roger is convicted or not. Attorney Coyne, thank you very much. James Harrison said that he wouldn't pee on the commissioner of the NFL if he was on <laughs> fire, and then he was knocking his teeth.